Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg here again with a, a very very late uh, update on the buddy builds from me and Paul, military model of Paul, I know he finished his a long time ago, um, but I've had some excuse I suppose, but I have very good reason why I haven't been at the bench at the moment, my sister-in-law unfortunately has breast cancer and I've been taking her to her uh, radiation treatment every morning and getting back in the afternoon and then time's limited. So, we'll go where we start from. Um, We've got a bit further since last time, not masses, but we've got a bit further. So we'll start off with what I've done since the uh, last update. I decided to get some more figures because I just wanted to paint. I just felt like painting some more figures. So I've done these two. I don't know if I showed you these two. These ones is going to be resting. So I've done this. This is what the this chappy here is going to be sitting on, you know, on the floor. It's just a bit of old storage. Um, on there, it was going to sit in the rock, but I didn't like the rock, so I'm going to sit him on that, uh, that bit of storage. So they're not bad little figures. They're okay. It's getting figure works getting better. So it's coming along. They're finished now. I think I just need a mat coat now. Some of these figures, which I haven't done yet, but I will do eventually. And if as if that wasn't enough, let's pop these other ones back on here. I did two more, two more tank crew because I didn't realise the six tank crew on a on a Yag Tiger, not five. So I've actually done seven figures. So I'm going to choose one which one I'm going to use and which one I'm not going to use. So we've got these two. So I'm thinking of using this one here, like bending over and talking to the soldiers as resting on the floor. And uh, if I can find some like bottles of wine or something like that and a bit of food and we'll put that scattered around between them in a couple of plates as if they're just having a bit of bit of something to eat and he's just laying over discussing whatever or chatting to the lads yeah so they're not bad little figures again fairly straightforward I tend now not to use any washes at all on my figures I just tend to use acrylic paint nothing else uh, but one of my good friends Paul um, Paulie's workbench, he's, he's a figure painter and he uses oils so he's giving me some tips about using oils so for my next figures I'm going to give those a go and see what I can come up with. He's doing the opposite, he's trying to work with acrylics which he hasn't done before and I'm going to try and work with some oils. So he's pointing me in the right direction which is nice. Yeah so they're not bad little figures those either. Yeah so that's where the figures are. We've done those. Pop that back there. Um, right. Now I can't remember how much I've done on this and how much I've showed you, but I'll, I'll show you again just in case. We have some. We have the gun barrel cleaning rods are on there. They need to be finished yet. We have this is for the machine gun at the back. I'll pop that there so you can see you clearly. This is just a tree stump that I made. So that's the for the machine gun. Um, we got in there. We have a spare shackle, um, the part that goes over the um, scissor, uh, scissors, over the uh, scissor periscope. That's just a lid to, to go over the top of it if it needs to. But that's going to be open. Obviously, we've got the wire cutters and things like that. Which so these are finished now. I've just like dusty with them with a, a dust mix. Um, Again, and we've seen that we've seen the um, oil cans. They're finished, and I've just added a, a pack as well there at the back. That needs to be mat coated as well. Uh, I might just add that to the vehicle somewhere. I'm not sure yet, but I thought I'd just paint it on the on the off chance it will be used. Same with the figures. I may not use all 12 figures or 13 figures, but uh, again, I might. I don't know yet. And that's one of the bars. I think it's a big tanker bar. That, goes on there that's finished now apart from positioning it on the vehicle and hopefully it is oxide red where I've uh, put the um, tool clamp but we'll find out and it's not a big deal it's not a big deal if it isn't um, we've done the tutorial to finish those these just need again a mat coat on them Fairly straightforward on these, nothing 
too elaborate on those. We've got all we've got a tow, we've got the track a track uh, track cable and a towing up and a small cable that was wrapped around one of the rear engine uh, fans. So we'll put those on as well. We're getting near the time. So they're finished there, but just about finished them. I made a start on weathering the tracks, the uh, spare tracks. Otherwise you've seen they were burnished last time. So I've just started again, I've just made a mix up of paints. I can't what I use now. But I remember I'll put it in the um, description at the bottom. Which are all to me paints. I think buff. Um, what was the other one? Deck tan. I honestly can't remember. I'll have to I'll double check that after and I'll, I'll uh, add it to the um, description. Yeah, so we've got these on there. Just, I've just done a slight dust coat on them as, as, a, as a base to start from. I say again, I may not use all these tracks. But I may do. It only depends again. But at least I've got the option there. And they will come in useful at some point anyhow. They're the metal ones that have been, they say they're burnished anyhow. So... Right, and also we've made a start on the weathering the uh, the wheels and sprockets and all that kind of stuff. So these two here, I was thinking of using these, just putting them under a tarp as spares. So they're still in the oxide primer, but obviously a dust again. So I'm just going to maybe just pick a couple of details out again with those. I shall see. So it was not much on the back there's no detail on the back of these so these will be laying flat down so it's not going to be probably not going to see them so that's those these are just about finished again just need to add add them to the vehicle basically and just make sure i've got enough um shininess on this on the sprocket teeth so these are the idler wheels again i've used a seed ball that i had um, a couple of pigments and what were the colours I used? An earth coat, an earth colouring, a turned dirt and a dry earth and I'll show you in a, and this was the base of it, the uh, older um, wilder, I can't get these no more, I use that as a base, dry earth, it's an acrylic so you can work you have to work fast with that though, to do it in bits I would uh, recommend, but yeah they come out quite well so, and on the rear, we've got them as I think it's, there's no marks on the back of the teeth because um, we didn't didn't connect to the uh, the tracks, so that's at the back of them. So I kept them the red oxide, and same with the wheels. When I show you the wheels, again I've done the same with these as well. These are still oxide. I might just put a bit of dust, but even though you're not going to see them, I might just add a little bit of dust towards them on the back of those again. So. That's those there. My little grandson on his on his adventures, and again, all different, not all the same. So they'll be added near of a time. And the wheels, again, we've got the wheels all done. Again, just need finishing off with a bit of damp earth, but I wasn't going to do that until I'm actually positioning them on the tank, uh, and then we can. Uh, blend them into a, a diorama eventually so uh, working from this side here this is these are the rear ones I put them in order as they're gonna go on the vehicle so heavier we weathering at the, re at the rear and lighter weathering so at the uh, lighter mud at the, at the sprocket end so I think same, all the same colors again use that base to start off with for the Tamiya paints and then work with them other three I think there was the splash splashes or the earth effects earth, nature effects by by MIG I don't usually use MIG much but I like his uh, nature effects I've just had these I've had these quite a while so I thought we'll use those yeah so there are the wheels and again on the back yeah I just haven't blended that yeah I just Again, I've got the red oxide primer at the back and in between the wheels as well because obviously the paint won't get in there. Did I do it on all of them? Yeah, I've done them on all these. got red oxide, it's just got dust on the back of them. I thought I didn't do them. Must have been imagining it. Yeah, I've done them all. Oh, right. But I've missed blending one. 
So, yeah, so they're all red oxide primer at the bit at the rear. Obviously, they're going to get dusty when they're on the uh, on the tank. So I'll pop them over there. And all the hubcaps are done as well. I've done a couple in red oxide primer just to just to add a bit of colour, really. So I've got those there. And the larger ones there, so they're all again dusted up and just need finishing when they go on the vehicle with a bit of damp earth or something again. Oh, sorry, yeah, on the um, oh, I haven't got to that bit yet, so I'll show you and I'll, I'll show you what I did and what I use. Yeah, so that's the uh, hubcaps, so they're all there, they're ready to go on when I uh, finish the vehicle. I'll just pop these back on here, out of the way, and I'll get the, uh, I'll just put all these back on here so I know where you are. I can go on there. So we've done that, we've done that, and right, let's get to the main part, the actual Yag Tiger. Right. right. It still isn't connected, there's still aren't lower hole and uh, upper hole is still not connected yet. As you can see, since I've, um, I think it was the, I just painted it last time, I think it's torn down now. I did a, I've done a chipping, I've done a, sorry, a pin wash, I've done a chipping, not a lot of chipping, just a, well, I suppose it's maybe a little bit too much because it was a newer vehicle, but um, yeah, I've done that. And instead of having the fenders on just now, I've, I've took them off, uh, but left the actual, you know, little plate on and just rusted them up a little bit as if it's been, you know, just completely sheared away, but not the other part come off. So, again, we've got that, and I used, again, and I just did a, um, an, oil, an oil dot filter on the, uh, on the paintwork, which is going to be um, made dusty and things like that, yeah. But the base is there. I used uh, stencils for the markings. So we've got the X7 and the, and the Balkan Christ, and that's all is on. And I think the other two are on the rear of the case, mate. So that's those, and the X7 on the doors. On the engine plate, it's got a lot to work on all night, yeah. But the basic chip in there, the, um, I forgot I had some decals, so I, I cut the decal down and just stuck them on there. But it's, it's, it's twisted for some reason. I must have moved it when I was putting it on. But I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah, so we'll have a look at the front and the muzzle. Looks bent, doesn't it? Because it didn't one properly. Because uh, this isn't connected all together, so we've got all the uh, where it would contact paint on paint and move about so we've chipped it on there again on the other side we've kept the two on the back and oh, I'm a clean clean wind shear off cleanly so we've got a bit of weathering on there a bit of chipping of the red oxide prime and a couple of rust marks not a lot just where the uh, Fenders were connected to the vehicle as well. Again, highlighted all the pin washer, all the weld seams. I've done all the rust around the commander's hatch. Again, this isn't fastened now. I really need to glue that actually before I lose it. The scissor per uh, periscopes have been painted. I don't know if you can make them out. I used the armored, um, Alclad armor glass stuff I've got, and then I. Uh, Put silver behind it first, and then I put the uh, armor glass on, and then I just did a drop of uh, clear varnish on those two and on the other one over there. I don't know if you can make them out or not, they work quite well on that. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, we did the we added we've added the uh, the exhausts. Which from last time were just separate, so we've added those at the moment. Again, and the towing pintle, if you want to call it that. And there's a few just chipping underneath there, and again on the uh, 
rear fenders bear in mind they're going to be dust and muck all over those as well and I've done this, I've just thought it was, I've seen Night Shift do it so I thought I'd have a go myself just doing a bit of a I don't know if his vehicle did, but I thought, why not? Why not try that? So I can see there's no weather on that side at the moment, but I did on one side, the other side. Using all the same stuff again. We have a more weather. I've taped all the um, connections for the road wheels. They're all taped off, because I used to not tear them off and then I found that I couldn't get the wheels and sort of clean everything off again or fully off the contact points so I thought well save me the trouble I'll just mask them and I've done underneath as well that's got that dust again just that to me a dust coat and same again up the top of there you're not going to see underneath there really but, um, and the wheels are going to use most of it these are now they're still not fastened but I've, I've actually fastened with the weather and it's actually made them solid now so it will be on flat ground so I took a decision not not to glue them but I thought well weathering will just help it set it up so and they're all in quite strongly so it's not a problem yeah so I'll just use the same thing as game but the first one I did start it off with was little dirt from my garden which is a, a, I sieved it twice from my garden and they also added, I ordered some um, fennel pieces, just, uh, dried fennel leaves, um, ages ago off Amazon. And I thought it ordered like a 250 gram pack and it was like a bloody massive packet. So I've used them all now, add them to different things. So that, I, and that's the seed ball that I used on the... Um, low hull as well if you could make it out and on the road wheels and the sprockets okay that's just the base colour that's what it came as I just trimmed it all off and just put them in there so we know what we've got and this is my garden dirt after it's been dried out it's there I have a big tub under my desk of my garden stuff I nuked it as well just as any creepy crawlies and then baked it so it was dried out and then we sieved it so I've got plenty of stuff to use on that and I see say I sieved them twice and um, got all these bits out little, which come in useful the ground scatter anyhow so I'll probably sieve it again when I do because I'll be doing a similar sort of technique on the top as well with all the uh, dust it's not going to be a masses of dust and muck just enough to see if it's been used um, yeah that's what I've got left off that. So I think we're about there. Showing what I've done. Well, I've done a little bit, just I've just had a couple of hours here and there and just done things that I could leave and go back to. Whereas certain things I'd like to spend the whole day. Saturday is my best day. Uh, so I can spend a bit longer in in the cave on a Saturday. So I'll just have a slurp of tea. Yeah, so I'm happy with the direction we're going. Um, it's getting there. Sorry, but surely it's getting there. See, I'm at my favourite place any other weather. I do like weather, as you know. But, uh, yeah, it's coming together slowly. I'm say I'm happy with it. I don't know, a little look round it. See, there's a lot of stuff to go on the back of there. Oh, no, there's a couple of little bits I need to show you as well. Sorry. I'll them in a minute. On the front. On the side. It looks like better in, in, in uh, it doesn't look as bright in the flesh as they say. It's, it's a bit more toned down than it looks on the pictures here. But when I do the final reveal, I'll take some photographs anyhow and you'll see a, a better colour. But yeah, so I'm happy with that, where it's, gone, where it's going to. I know it's took me long enough to get here, but I say my bench time is uh, restricted at the moment. Right, so, what was I going to show you? Where are we at? Ah, there we are. Right, because the MG, uh, it's got the MG on the back. 
I thought I'd put two buckets I showed you before. So one's got a cloth in. See that? That's just a bit of tissue folded with PVA and water and glued and painted. Well, actually, I put the paint inside the PVA and water and just drop the thing in there and fold it over the uh, over the bucket. So that's one. And I thought, well, I'm going to have some scattered on, like I showed you the um, um, 50 cal, sorry, 50 cal, the MG, um, all the shells will be coming out of it and things like the cartridge shells. And I thought I'd have a bucket to switch some in as if they're cleaning them up. So I thought I'd just add that to it, maybe a bit big, but need, the knees need finishing, they need uh, toning down a bit, like I did with the, uh, the shells on the uh, main armour, main, uh, main shells. But yeah, I thought I'd just add that, just something to be different to sit on the back of the uh, engine deck. But that just needs toning down a bit. Yes, yeah, so I think that's it really. I can't think of anything else that I've actually done since the last one. I think we're there. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so, you know, we're getting there. We will get there in the end. You know, it's just one of them things you can spend your time when you can. But when I get to the bench, I do enjoy doing what I do. So, it just... Just takes time. I used to build fast when I was younger and things like that, but I've learned as excuse me as time has gone on. Just just you know do what you can when you can and at a slower pace and you, and you do benefit from you know doing it slowly and taking your time. So yeah, so I'm happy with everything else. So we'll have another quick spin and then I'll uh, say goodbye until the next one. I have a couple of unboxings coming up soon. I don't know when I'll get round to doing those, but uh, we'll have one soon. Hopefully, maybe Saturday might be a better time for me to do an unboxing. So this is what day are we on today? Thursday. And what time are we on? Four o'clock. So yeah, I got back about oh, I can't remember what time it was. Maybe about three, something like that. I can't remember. Time I've had uh, something to drink and eat and whatever, and come up here. So I thought the first thing I'll do is uh, do an update because it's about time now. I think it's merely a month since last time I did one. Not quite in a month, but not far off. Right, so, so thank you very much to all my new subscribers for uh, subscribing. I hope you stay and uh, like what I do, but I really do need to do some. How to's. I did say to one of the couple of my friends I'm going to do how I make my trees, which you've seen them in the but this is a finished one. As you've seen these before, anyhow, this is a finished one. This is just a fir tree, no nondescript, just a gent, you know, run of the mill fir tree. Takes time, they take a time, but they get a good result, and, and there's nothing really needed that's. You know, to be an expert modeler on, or you know, a beginner could do it really. To be perfectly honest, if just taking your time, you see, you've got the. Um, these we're putting three, hopefully, on this uh, this diorama. I've got the two frames made for the next two trees, but they're still just in the same situation as they were last time. Let's push that. Let's push that back out of the way for now, and say so this is basically what you've got. This is just a piece of doweling. It isn't balsa wood, this is doweling. I've got a bottle full of doweling for something. There's a cat wanting to come in. Uh, and that's just florist wire and drill holes through all over to wood and push the wire in there and a bit of super glue. And then we can start uh, painting the, f getting this little wood colour and then we add the, uh, the static grass. What I'm thinking of trying with this one, it might not work, it's using my, um, the, the oh, what's it called, not the applicator, I've got like a grass, picking grass mats, I've got one of those plates, so I'm thinking of maybe using that to try see if I can use by touching, because this is a metal pin at the bottom of there, by touching that would it help to, with the, uh, the grass on there, because we spray it with uh, PVA and water or 
scenic glue, whichever you want to call it, and then add the static grass. Yeah, so we're not just time consuming, more than difficult. That's all they are, just time consuming. Let me just pop this one out of the way back there, otherwise, we'll. They're a pain in the bum to store because they're quite delicate but at the same time awkward to stand so I'm having to stand them in a big lump of polystyrene it's quite deep and heavy at the bottom so the polystyrene doesn't uh, fall over. Right, yes I'm waffling now so again thank you very much for tuning in and uh, thank you very much to all my new subscribers and of course all my old subscribers I do appreciate your uh, views and comments I know I don't reply but uh, I do I do read them all I promise you I do read them all uh, so this is Greg signing off until I do the unboxing and we shall see you very very soon hopefully catch you later gents